Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. My name is Indira and a lot of you have been asking and I assume or maybe wondering uh, how the medication uh, sertraline is going nine months later. Uh, is it still working? Have there been any big side effects or is it just still nice and steady? Uh, I thought I would do an update on this because I've been getting some comments lately of people wanting to start, but they don't really know, you know, how to start or they're a bit uh, scared to go on the medication. And so, yeah, I just thought I would do an update on that and hopefully this helps you uh, make your decision. If you like this video, make sure to give it a um, a like and subscribe for more content. I really appreciate it and it helps me out quite a bit. So I have been on Sertraline, which is the off brand for Zoloft or the generic brand for Zoloft. And Sertraline is mainly for anxiety. It's not necessarily for depression. Uh, it's not like dual active. It's just one, one active state. I started taking this because I had a bad panic attack in class and I've been having panic attacks for like four years consistently and when I had this bad panic attack around nine months ago in one of my classes I, I knew I was like okay let me do some type of research you know this can't be the new normal like there has to be a way that I can at least stop uh, the panic attacks and just be able to focus and be normal and not have uh, you know, crushing anxiety. And so I found Sertraline. It is something that does have to be prescribed by your doctor and you do have to get it uh, refilled and they do have to approve of that. But, you know, if you have anxiety and you're honest with your doctor, hopefully they will uh, allow you to go on this medication. So for the first week, I believe I took half of 20 five milligrams I, I believe um, and then I went and then I was on 25 milligrams but then I think in around a month I started taking 50 milligrams and that's what I've been on um, ever since that seems to be a really good healthy amount it doesn't overdo it it hasn't um, like gone less over time it, it still keeps up and still works very well personally i take my medication at night time because i don't i'm not always expected to like wake up early um but I, if i can stay up till nine which i can then i just take my medication at night but it's also personal preference and what you're used to and so far i haven't had like any bad side effects but then again my doctor also said that uh, people of like Asian descent don't really have side effects and that's why she recommended uh, sertraline uh, specifically. So I can't really speak for uh, other people, but for me, I didn't really have any bad side effects and I haven't had any since starting the medication. And overall, it's been honestly like an amazing experience i it has been life-changing going not having crushing anxiety and having a normal amount of anxiety like it still amazes me in a way <laughs> that, that might sound kind of crazy or like weird or out there but it, it just it can get in the way anxiety can totally get in the way and i feel like if you can at least control it or at least have a normal amount like it's so worth it and it can be scary kind of grappling with the idea of having to be on a pill for many years just so you can like be productive and kind of get and get through the day but honestly it's worth it it's not a big deal you know you learn to live with taking the medication so i think it's uh, definitely doable and also since taking the medication i don't have like nightmares anymore I still dream like all the time like every night but it's not like anxiety driven dreams or like I wake up like super anxious from a dream it's just like I just have like weird dreams I don't know <laughs> in general um but yeah I find that 
uh, it's definitely helped with anxiety dreams and, and makes it so I can sleep better. So yeah, that is a quick update on how sertraline has been uh, personally for me nine months later. I don't plan to go off of it like anytime soon. Um, as long as I'm in school, I'm probably going to stay on it. As of right now, I might stay on it longer than that. I don't know. But so far, it's been pretty, uh, pretty amazing. And I still believe that if you can give yourself and be kind to yourself and, and just give yourself some type of relief, like go on medication, it's okay. You don't even have to like tell anyone about it. Just go on medication and just see for yourself how it will work. Yeah, I highly recommend going on anxiety medication if you have crippling anxiety um, because it really does change the way like you like your thoughts you think better thoughts like I know it's not made for like depression but it does help with just normalizing the everyday which which is if you have really bad anxiety and if you have panic attacks like really really makes the difference so um yeah it's been it's been great and I would highly recommend that you at least do your research and consider going on anxiety medication. It's been amazing. And uh, I also think that, especially since the days, at least from where I live, are starting to slowly get longer, that maybe this can be the push for you to, uh, to reconsider going on uh, anxiety medication. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I should get to them. And uh, yeah, have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.